I have actually been in the presence of Jesus, and I've had supernatural, supernatural experiences all my life without really realizing why. Until I came to this country and met Jesus Christ, my family are atheists. But uh, one time God spoke to me and he said, I have been with you since before you were born. And I said, Lord, what are you talking about? I talked to him, just, he knows my heart, there's no need being fancy or hiding things. I tell him just exactly what's on my mind. Even if I have to ask him to forgive me. <laughs> But I remember the story my mother told me, bless her heart, may she rest in peace, she's with the Lord. She too became a Christian, listening to the 700 clubs in this, in this country. She told me, uh, well, she got pregnant, and um, my uh, natural father, my biological father, his parents wouldn't allow him to marry somebody like her, so they deliberately got her pregnant, so they would get permission to get married. He was 19, she was 17. And uh, when they went to apply for papers, they checked. Because your mom was Jewish, that's why. Right. right. In Germany. Right. Well, she, her father was German, but my grandmother is a Polish Jew. And, and anyhow, they were denied permission to get married, and he was told, if you ever miss with someone like that again, you're going straight to the Russian front, you better go join the army, which he did. He went on a U-boat, and it was shut down in the ocean, he swam the water for a couple of days before a Russian boat picked him up. While he was swimming in the water, he asked God to forgive him for denying paternity, you know, whatever. He spent the rest of the war in Russian prison camp, but getting back to my mother, uh, she was pregnant, and they tried to force her in an abortion. And some of my German relatives, police, held up the papers. By the time they came back, denied report to the hospital for an abortion. I was born already. <laughs> and one more thing, I was such a huge baby with a big head. <laughs> When God dealt out the brains, I yelled here a few times. My IQ is between 160 and 200. And I was born in the middle of an air raid. Air raid. I say, I got here with a bang. <laughs> Nobody wanted to get the doctor. And finally, they got, you know, a German doctor worked in the hospital there, tend to German soldiers there, didn't tend to people like us. So uh, some doctor, over 80 years old, delivered me. I'm sure he was a doctor, but I couldn't, I said, people, he was probably a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows, he may have been one. I never really met him except that time. And I wouldn't be born. I just refused to come out. And I weighed over to 10 German pounds. And the doctor finally, well, he pulled me out with forces. And he cut the back of my head off. And I fled. And I never knew what that meant until I learned about Jesus Christ. Always has to be bloodshed. God put a mark on my head that nobody could kill me. Nothing could kill me. 
and thinking about it, I probably escaped dead at least a hundred times. God, God, the Lord cut a covenant with me to protect me.